So hi everyone, my name is Jasmine. So first of all, thank you so much for joining our first time online fashion show. Today we are here to showcase our avant-garde collections. So maybe many of you don't know about what is avant-garde. So actually avant-garde is a symbol of progress, explorations and innovation. Avant-garde fashion can fully express the idea and creativity of the designer differently compared to ready to wear, and it makes the mindset outside of the established norm. So now I believe that you all are assigned things to view the work from our designer. So before start, uh, I believe that you all might have some comments during our sharing section. So if you have any comments, uh, feel free to comment at below and we will reply it later. So let's welcome our first designer, Angeline, to present her work. Welcome, Angeline. Hi, everyone. I'm Angeline. So greetings to everyone. I'm Angeline from Raffles University. For today's sessions, I would like to share my design collections with you. So my team name for this design collection is one and only. So first of all, let's have a brief intro about the concept and the aim of these collections. So in this world, like everything has its own purpose. It might seem worthless, but the fact is that everyone plays a virtual role in this earth. People should appreciate what they have and always be grateful. So as a human beings, we are different in many ways. We are all created by the same God, but we do have some variations. Not all things are the perfect and the best or probably the most adorable, but trust me, there's only one thing that will make a particular existence an exceptional from other people, regardless of the family background and other problems. We are all in a unique style and we are gifted in some ways. So this is where I came out with my inspirations. Um, it just flashed through my mind while I was watching this art film so this art film actually named Incognito. So it's about a master art forgery. Harry Donovan accepts a commission to paint a fake Rembrandt that could end up with being a small fortune. While working on this painting, he romances art student Merrick, who later reveals herself as the expert of the Rembrandt, employed by the man who hired Harry for the forgery, Merrick believes that the painting by Harry won't pass for the genuine Rembrandt, and Harry's employers are rather displeased with his failure, forcing him to flee for his life. So in this art film, Harry, the protagonist, actually did mention about that only Rembrandt was able to paint himself. No matter how similar the forgery is, the fake one will never be the original one. So this is the artist Rembrandt. Rembrandt Hammersen van Rijn was a Dutch draftsman, painter and prince maker. He was an innovative and prolific master in the free media. He is generally considered one of the greatest visual artists in the history of arts, as well the most important in Dutch art history. Rembrandt's works depict a wide range of style and subject matter, from portraits to self-portraits to genre scenes, landscape as well as animal studies. His contributions to art came in a period of great wealth and cultural achievements that historians call the Dutch Golden Age. This is the mood board of the whole collections. So in this board, which includes the element that inspired me to come out with my design. So majority of the substance and elements is unable to duplicate 
or it is one and only existing and some additional of some Rembrandt artworks it is to indicate the originality as well as the fashions of the 17th century clothing and garments so from this board as shown it is more to geometry and circular shapes this is how i came out a base design and pattern design for my design collections so comes to the design research and development for, for the left side as you can see that many of the elements i came out with from the mood boards i developed into very varieties of pattern and designs for the first one likely to be a geometry shapes to form a human outlook with a flash point and focus point and the second one likely to be a spreading out effect that inspired by the flashes of the lights and for the right side of this light it's likely to be the design that i sketch it out during i develop developed my ideas so from the sketch the manipulation slightly to be cover up the garment uh, which is to elaborate the uniqueness and the originality in ourselves and our inner body that we haven't been discovered that is why it's mentioned previously that we are born in variations so making out a garment need a progress and experiment as well so the fabric manipulation that i developed from the previous steps i developed out the sofa puffs and the stiffed balls so during this process i managed to test it with different fabric threads and other materials for a few times to get the exact look that i wanted so for example the sofa puffs as the picture shown at the right side I tested with felt and cotton. Both fabrics present a different effect, but obviously the cotton brings out the surfboard effect is better than the felt. So I prefer cotton for this manipulation. Whereas for the stiffed balls, felt could not get the effect that i wanted and it's not puffy enough as the picture shown at the left side of the slides which is in red and yellow color felt presents the wrinkles and creases during the experiments it is different for wool felt wool felt could bring out the puffiness effect and the surface of it is smoother and obviously the effect is better than the felt finally will be the elastic band elastic band i have been tested and experimented with different tensions and stitch length as well as the preference of the elastic band so the preference of the elastic band is very important as well because with different flexibility of the elastic band could affect the affect the effect of the curves on the fabric as the picture shown at the corner the curvy the fabric will bring a better effect of the gathering and the puffiness of the garment so after i finish with my experiments it's time for me to consider about the color that going to apply on the collections so this is where i came out with my color board color consisted the whole collections included blue orange and brown color so there's a reason of using this color palette so blue color actually represents the sky and the sea it's mainly to express the limitless of a individual creativity also represents the truth and whereas for orange it brings out a meaning of creativity, youth, and enthusiasm. For this part, it could fully express an individual creativity, originality, and the uniqueness of an individual existence. It provides a feeling of confidence and sociable 
in our inner body. So brown color brings out the feeling of honesty, truthful to ourselves. So in this board, I did include a bit of fabrication information because at the previous board, I did put about the surfog, I'm using cotton and wool felt for the stiff balls. But for the base fabric, I'm using tweed fabric. And in a striped textures, it is mainly inspired by the one of the art piece of Rembrandt. So this is the silhouette of the garment, which is the shapes of the garment. I mainly inspired by the 17th century fashion, which is the decade of the artist Rembrandt born. The long tight sleeves of the early 17th century grew shorter, fuller and looser. That's why the gowns are in an unfitted way with long hanging sleeves, short open sleeves, or even there are no sleeves were worn over the bodies and skirt with a ribbon around the waist. This is the front look of the whole collections, which is my range plan. It included men's wear and women's wear. So as the board shown, the collection mainly be loose fitting with long puffy sleeves or even with a cape and a dress. So it is more to feminine look. So as you can see from this board, I did put a lot of detailings and manipulations over the whole garment. And this is the back look of my range plan. So as you can see, like some of it is is plain for the black back because I want to make the front as the focus point. So I will make some of the outfit in plain at the back. Whereas for some, I will be applying full with detailings and manipulations to indicate the differences throughout the whole collections. So this is the garment that being produced amongst the whole collections. It is in a full length without sleeves or any armholes. It is a cape dress. The method of ending with the manipulations placement, it is based on, first of all, the top part will be the stiff balls formed a word in Chinese called ren, which is human in English. And the second layer, I'm trying to express the unique that spread out from our inner body which is same as the fourth layer with the surf of puffs. And the third layer, it is covered up by stiff balls forming a striped texture. I trying to bring out the meaning of limitless. And another thing to mention in this illustration board, the reason of using the same manipulations and keep on repeating on this garment is actually inspired the word forgery in the art film. So I utilize these manipulations to cover up the whole garment. That is why it might seem similar for front and back, but there are still a bit of differences between it. So this collection to match back with current situation, which is the pandemic, I did include a face mask design. As the picture shown in this slide, this is how the face mask look like. The mask design is consisted with both manipulations as well, same as the garment did, which is the surfboard pops and the stiff balls. But it is in different tones of blue color for both sides. This is to indicate that the differences of each existence like human faces. So come to the photo shooting part. This is the part that core of presenting the whole garment. It is an attitude of the garment. This part actually included the makeup, accessories, hairstyling, and poses. Since this collections, I am aiming for originality and uniqueness. 
Therefore, makeup is no longer needed for the model in order to present out the originality of each existence. And it is comes in a high ponytail to make the photo as clean as possible and the full view of the garment. Whereas for the accessories will be the mask. Comes to the background of the photo shooting, it is more likely to be in front of the light because I want to make it a flash and a focus point on the garment detailing and the 3D dimensions of the manipulations. Here's some of the scenes during the progressions of the garment and the photo shooting part. So before ending this session, in conclusion that each and every one of us is born with unique traits and characteristics that help us shine and find our true calling. There's a quote by Martha Graham, which is, there's a vitality, a life force, an energy, a quickening that is translated through you into actions, and because there's only one of you in all times, this expression is unique. And if you block it, it will never exist through other medium anymore. And in the end, it will be lost. So be yourself as well full with truthfulness and honesty. I'm hereby thank you for spending time with me today for this session. Hope you guys enjoying it. So before ending it, if you have any comments or question, please type below. We can answer you later. Let's pause to the next speaker. Hi, everyone. My name is Jasmine, and uh, for my full name is Ao Jieming. So it means that you can call me Jasmine. It's easy to recognize. And today, I'm here to showcase my first avant-garde collection and also to share about my design concept and inspirations. So for my uh, collection, it's named as Choroided. So in my section, I will be sharing about my design from zero to the end product that I created. So with this, I hope to let every one of us to understand how I apply my ideas onto fashions and come up with a new creations. So first of all, as this time, I'm inspired by an art firm as my starting point on the developments, uh, like design and etc. Therefore, I would like to share a short storytelling or a summary about this art firm. So for this art film, it is named as Velvet Bazo. It is a horror drama that showcases in a meaningful and investigating way, which talk about people who abuse their power and meet with the gory demise. And the meaning of this Velvet Bazo is about the velvet is soft, which represents the character in the film who are all market maker and not an artist and having the soft skill to influence the market. Well, for the effect from those soft skill people toward the artist is devastating and cut like a knife and bazo. 
So in a drama, they are using like an art piece to represent the judgment toward those who are abusing their power and authorities to make money on the artwork. So one of the artists, this uh, come out with tons of artwork in the drama and those market makers using their power to take all the artwork as their and sell it to the market. So in a drama, there are few characters are alive as they don't abuse the power and do things right or morals. So abuse of authority happen in different regions, including like a workplace and politics, which become a serious issue that should be away by our society. And in the conclusion of this drama, people who live uh, who did in this uh, artwork are uh, all one with power and misusing it to abuse a good art piece. So for the next slide, I will talk about the inspiration and the message that I get from the movie. And it is about people who try to use their power and get onto the benefit. They are illegals and immorality will get the punishment or judgment at the end. So it is also represent a situation such as a politics and workplace that some of the people are frequently abusing their power. So with this, the theme of the collection is collected. And the key elements that I get and pick it from the art film will be formal way, art and bloody judgment, which will be applied onto my design later. So next, I then come up with a mood board to represent this art collections, which is a one get collection in the mood board. As you can see, there's a sense of fear and people get corroded by the art paintings. So in this collection, I would like to bring out an awareness. Abusing power or authority will affect others, especially people who are positioned at the lower level. So for example, in a workplace, corrections of high post people will affect the benefits of company and employees. While the corrections in governments, residents will be the one who get affected. Therefore, the collection would like to bring out the message of this power abusing issue that happened in our society in order to raise the awareness of publics to learn more about this issue. And we, as a part of the society, we also hope to see everyone in the environment get benefited in an equal way based on our output without exploiting others. So next, we move on to the colors selected for this collection. And the inspirations from the thriller art film, Velvet Bazo, actually bring me some key elements, which is the art, high post people and also judgment, which I have mentioned in the last few uh, pages. So to represent the art, I decide to input the mixings of different color, including like yellows, blue, pinky purples, onto the fabric manipulation that I wanted to apply onto my design. Well, for the formal way, it's actually represent the high post people. So it is why I have come up with a black colors that we usually using it in the workplace. Besides, I also included black stance elements to using red fabric dye to represent the dye and also the judgment on those people in the floor. So before applying all this idea and concept, I actually come up with few design sketches. And before this, idea development is a very important to make the design connected between each other. So there are some of my key elements that I already sketch out in my ideal development process. So in this images, you can uh, see that it is showing some five key people who died because of abusing the power and the lovely art piece with different type of uh, the method of that. So now we will move on to one by one. So for the first one, this character is John Don Don. Actually, John Don Don wants to diminish this, which is the artist. He hires someone to collect uh, the artist's background information and plans to release to the press in order to diminish the values of the paintings. And the night before he plans for going to the press, the projectors on his office 
has suddenly turned on and he been locked inside the area where was otherwise open moment ago. So when he is drawn to a flickering spark, a hand show up and he then get tied up the neck at the roof. Well, for the second character, which is the main character, Josephine's, found this, which is the artist, died and led by his cat to his house after he already died. And she then find all of his paintings. She take it and show to Moth, who is uh, insulted by the artwork. And Josephine then worked with Rodora to sell the artwork without having the legalities of the art piece and transferring from the disc, which is the artist, and they like that it is found in the dustbin and display at the art gallery. So at the end, Josephine enter an art gallery, which is a mirage during a phone call. So she then slowly enter by different colors and become part of the street art on the wall. Well, for the third characters in this art film, which is Moth. So before we talk about Moth, I have to uh, introduce a short uh, description about Hobo Man. So Hobo Man is actually the artwork from an artist and which is uh, present as a superhero without limbs and symbolize an old homeless. But Moth uh, is condescending and tell the artist that Hobo Man has no originality and no courage, even though it has been getting a good response at the exhibition. So with this, Moth give a bad review on it and lead to the art death. So for Bryson's Bryson get taken by Grease Monkey. So during transportation, Bryson curious and look into the box that he transporting and found out it is the artist painting. So he took few of it for himself. So on the way, he accidentally get crushed into a gas station and burns himself. So he get into the toilet, but the art inside the toilet, monkey art suddenly like show up and attack Bryson until he died. So the last one, this character is Gretchen. Gretchen wanted to buy this artwork, which can make deal with her clients and let her client able to display others at peace sphere. The night before she, uh, her client's artwork display, Gretchen worked around the museum and decided to try out the art piece, which is showing in the image, the sphere, which is like a circle things. And this artwork, actually, it is work like a uh, normal during uh, daytime, but suddenly when Gretchen is trying on, it is like not work as a normal function. And it suddenly like twisted and costed Gretchen hand severed right off. So she then fall and bleeds until she died. So after all of this uh, key characters elements that I'm catching out, then I come out with how to apply the feelings of the art corrected the peoples and caused that they die because of uh, those characters, they die because of the artwork. So I wanted to bring out this kind of feelings and then I decide to use things like a layering of the fabrics and to create the fullness and the flow of the arts on a human's body. So after all this idea development, I then come up with some sketches before finalize the final looks for the collections. So this is some of my sketches. So after sketching all this uh, design and number of sketches, and I finally uh, finalized about five looks for this collection, Awanga collection. And as you can see, the colorful part is represent the art and I create a flow for the art and to have feelings of corroding the human body and also show some movement of it. So now we look at each garment one by one. So for the first look, it is actually represents the characters who begin killed by the grease monkey in the toilet of the gas station and the art flow around the body such as like a screeching the body of the characters. So the second looks is the character who begin tie up and die at the roof in the art gallery so that you can see the art flow is actually around the neck. 
And well, for the third one, it is the main character who is the earliest one found out the artist artwork and died because of the mirage. And so I added, I added in the art floor around the whole body parts. And for the fourth one, it is the character who lose an arm and cut off by one of the art piece so that you can see the art floor around the arm part. Well, for the last one, it is uh, the one who give the bad review and killed by the art piece Hobo Man. So the art floor around the neck and the body area because of the Hobo Man have break the person uh, neck and scratching the arm and limbs. So this will be the back view of the ranch plant. So after coming out with a finalized design, it is time for us as a designer to do some sampling and experiment for the garments. So especially for those parts which is like more complicated, after that we will then do some fittings to double conform and to match up with our initial design or illustration. So as you can see for the biggest part, which is the layerings that represent the art floor, I have did like few times of adjustment and changing to create the, a more natural flow. So after all this are testing, I then started to add in like paintings as also the painting I did some uh, samples and to get the best result at the end. So after that, the final fittings confirm actually uh, we will uh, confirm all this, like how the floor goings on, and then we go on to the actuals. So I have uh, finished about the garments part. So now we also decided to uh, add in the mask onto the design to fill up for the current situations and also the trend due to the pandemics. So this is the mask element. Actually, they are extracted from the garments, which is the art floor. Uh, the art floor. And also the colorful panel is actually designed to represent the art floor and the car and to cover the sides of the face to show the smoother looks. And also, uh, the next slide, I will show Wings the looks books for this avant-garde design. So this is my looks books uh, for the avant-garde uh, collection. And also, actually, it is like matching the themes and also makeup. We are always uh, match up with the theme to have a smoother look. So in a shooting, as you can see, I have researched some makeup feeling with like fear and a bit of surreal sense. So beside the background, use, uh, we are using like all blacks to stand out the garment and also create a feelings of darkness and also thriller art film feelings. So for the approach, uh, the frame is to make the feelings of art gallery and create like a scenes of arts come out from the frame. Well, for the red silky fabric, it is to represent the death and also bloody feelings that come out from the art thread. So before ending this showcase and my sharing section, let me show you all some behind the scene and uh, how I taken the photo shootings during it. So next slide. Hope you all enjoy.
so now uh, let me make a short conclusion before I end this sharing section. So after listening to my sharing, I know that for people who are not in this fashion industry or fail, I realize that, oh, fashion is not only designing, but there's a lot of small detail going on from zero to end product. So designer wanted to transfer their ideas, creativities, or even bring out some awareness toward the public through fashion. So fashion is not only what you wear on, it is also a medium to transform information toward the society. So that's all for my section and thank you so much for staying with me to listen this uh, section and hope you all enjoy it. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below and we will reply it later. So now I will pass this time to my next designer friend, Hui Jun. Hi everyone, my name is Hui Jun, is a student from the Bachelor of Fashion Design of in Raffles University. Today, I would like to present my project workshop module final assignment with these avant-garde collections autumn and winter 2022. So in this presentation, I will talk about my inspirations, my design and also the ideas. Uh, the inspirations of my avant-garde autumn and winter 2022 collection is from an art film, it's called The Pianist. And then the themes of this collection will be the crew and love. Uh, before talking about my collections and design, let me introduce the art film that is uh, inspired me. And then the pianist, this art film is a war film that tells a very heart-wrenching story of the acclaimed Polish Jewish musician called Spilsman, which is the main character in this film who faced a series of struggles after losing contact with his family during the World War II. And then this film used a very calm and non-sensational approach to narrate the suffering and cruelty suffered by the war Jews. And then the film described the real situation of that period objectively and calmly, and it was objective to the point and of almost cool and precise. As an underground party member say in the film, it is harder to live than to die. In this film, we have clearly seen the good and evil of human nature. Some people exploit the salesman, which is the main character, to gain more money, but some people have saved him without the get any returns. A German official also helped the salesman, the main character, without care about their nationality. And then the family member depends on each other. As we know, the war is like cruel, cruel and no one can stay out. And death was happen all the time. After the death of the Spilsman family, he still lies firmly. And then the piano is a oh, beautiful thing. But in that time, it's not allowed to exit. So this, firm, this art firm really inspired me to design a collection and convey my thoughts and ideas. Uh, in this collections, I would like to show the cruelties of war and will there be so many tragic things if there is more love happen in that time. And then in the films, we can feel the insignificance of life in war, so we long for peace in order to life. Uh, here is my front and back range plans of my collections, including the men's wear and women's wear. So we can see that my design always more to similar to the military feelings and using the olive green to become the main color. Besides, I use the belt and military, military badge to become the details and design. In the design also, uh, I also apply with some soft and sheer fabric which make the garment look more softer. And then uh, for the first and fourth look, the first and fourth looks, I have used the layering fabric manipulation to give a massive feeling and represent the destroying or disruptive during the war. The last look is the outfit that I will be made up in this module. And then this collection mainly I want to express the cruelty and love in the world, which is contrast. 
And then the war is cruel and disruptive as well as cause many tragedies. And then the love is especially important and touching during the war. In the war, the human life becomes grandiose and not really important again, as every day have people lost their life. The Jews can be killed by the German soldiers without any reasons. Relative and lover who are dependent on each other's were scattered or lost and even died in the war. This all revealed the cruelties in the during the war. So in my collections, I'll try to show the feelings of war but match with some romantic elements to make the look softer which can bring some hope and positive energy to, to the people. This war also resonates to our current situation which is the pandemic issue. The COVID-19 pandemic virus is raging and many people die because of the COVID-19. So at this time the love, the humanity, sense of responsibility and also the unity of the people are all magnified and raised up. This is why people can continue to fight with the virus, with the hope and positive energy. So this collection, I hope to bring some power and courage to the people. Next, the art firm brings the ideas and inspirations to complete my avant-garde collections. I have good inspirations from uh, some of the interests brought in this firm. Firstly, the movie show during the World War II, the number of Jews in the Poland dropped from uh, 500,000 to 60,000. Second is the Spilsman family add a piece of candy with six family members for their last meal. And the third is the German official regularly supply the food to the Spilsman as he play a, a Chopin's ballad in G minor. So let's talk about the one of the plot that inspired me, which is the in the World War II, the number of Jews in Poland dropped in a very rapid rate. So this means uh, the many people died in the war. However, the firm just described the death in a very simple way as death is happened every day in that time. And then people were in the habit of death. In the pianist in this firm, there is no hatred, no shout, no curses, and only everyone working to life and waiting for the for the end of the war. So uh, this also become the base of my inspiration about my collections. My design without very exaggerated silhouettes to describe the war and death but with some small fabric manipulation and also the detailing. Uh, the garment I try not to make people feel like very sad or very down. So the uh, my collection will not use the very dull and dark color to represent the sadness, but the red color was used to represent the bloody and cruel, while the soft and sheer sure fabric as well as the yarn to make the red look more softer and romantic. The second plot that inspired me is the plot in the middle part of the movie and it is also the scene before the Spielman, which is the main character, began his escape life. And all Jews have been deported elsewhere and they don't know uh, what they will face after this. The Spielman family bought a small candy for $20 before getting on the train and the candy has been divided into six pieces and share with each family member. Before getting on the train, the salesman was pulled out of the crowd by a soldier, which, which is his friend, and his friend told him he will die if he went on to the train. He wanted to save his family member too, but he's no way. In that way, the candy becomes the last meal of their family. So I use a 3D square fabric manipulations and apply it on the belt. For creating the fabric manipulation, I have made a few sample and with the different kinds of fabric to get the greatest effect. And at the end, I have chose the cotton fabric to uh, apply these fabric manipulations. The other plot that brought me ideas was near to the end of the movie. The spillsman hide in the inner rooms and he was discovered by the by a, a German official. He thought his life would end because he, he thought the German official will kill him. However, the German official only asked him to play a piano when he knew the Spielsman is a pianist. 
And then the Chopin's folk piano ballad he's playing has changed from unfamiliar to skills as he has a long time never touched the piano. From this part of life to forgetting the distance between the life and death. He immersed in his piano and ingests his dissatisfactions and sadness into the performance. Perhaps the piano touched and impressed the official, or perhaps the official still have some conscience not willing to kill people against. So the official let him go and also provide the food to the salesman regular, regularly, which made the salesman success to life until the end of the war. And then these things make me believe that the human nature is still kindness. Therefore, I don't want to make my clothes slow, but to make some parts of the silhouette more lovely. Some parts of silhouette and detailing show the soft and romance effect. Uh, during the shooting, I would like to bring out the feelings of war. So I'm using a grey background with the wrinkled fabric, which uh, with a little messy feeling. The destroying makeup to show the sadness and damage due to the uh, World War. And then the background makeup with uh, made up with the two board to represent the city war that trapped the people, but uh, could, people could not escape during the war. This is also a scene was sitting on the chair car, which covered with different fabric, also express of feelings of room. And this is some of the result of shooting. Uh, next, I will talking about my design and also the detail, detailings of my garments. Uh, here is my ideal development and some uh, sketching to express my idea. Besides, I have made some uh, sample to try my fabric manipulations in order to get the greater effect. Before I create my design, I have did a brainstorming to list up all the message that is important for me after the brainstorming, I also collected the, I have collected the ideas and information and I have started to convert my ideas into the design and sketch it up. After confirm my design, that is the time for me to do the samples and try my fabric manipulation in order to see whether the design is workable or able to make it up and also try it in different way to get the greatest effect in my final outfit. So what can be seen in my design is overall silhouette is closer to the military feelings and I also use some military elements like belt, the military patch, the olive greens to tell the time of war. Besides the green color, the green color is the color of life, revival, renewal and energy. The olive green is and several shades has and tints of greens was in camouflage girls have strong military significance. And besides, the navy blue also is one of the main colors and it mainly applied on the belt or some accessory. The navy blue evokes a sense of strength and authority rather than the relaxing and peaceful thought that are accompanied by a standard blue shade. The darker shade of blue tends to uh, lean more towards concept of authority and importance. Uh, this color show also show the power. And then the red color is the color of bloody and fire, which associated with meanings of love. The so fabric was used, uh, the chain coat fabric, which has a little bit wrinkles effect, which can make, uh, which can show the messy of the wall. Besides, in order to reduce the feelings of sadness and doubt in the wall, I used the red for the contrast. The red can represent the bloody and also can represent the love. In order to highlight the feelings of love, I use the soft and sure fabric, which is satins and organza to bring out the soft and romantic effect. For the bottom skirt, I make it into two layers of organza with one layer of satin fabric to give the layering effect. And then the sleeve, I get up the general design, but I use the method of yarn weaving. I will use the different colors and different type of yarn as well as the different technique to complete the seed. And it really take me a long time. So uh, I have using the weaving and knitting uh, method and also make a yarn ball, tassels, 
and also tie the yarn to create a pattern. Then at the end, come out with these kinds of effects. And then this design adds a romantic feelings and make the design no longer cool. The color and are uh, red, white, and pink, which show the bloody red. And but the pink and white color are used to make the red more layers and romantic. Uh, here is the front whole looks of my garments. Here is the back look. Uh, in, res in response to the pandemic, we also designed masks. Although uh, the masks are unable to protect us at all, this mask, but it just convey a concept. So my mask was designed with a tassel made of yarns, uh, which can resonate with my clothing. Then we can see the color is red with a little bit black color instead of the whole red. So this has brought the feelings a bit similar to the camouflage, but in the red color versions. Uh, from the phones, we saw the helpless and compri compromise of Joe's until finally they managed to survive that period of suffering and waited until the movement when the enemy retreated. There is no heroes flawed in this story, but there is a precious family affection in the world. Lastly, before I show off the video of my behind the scene, I would like to end my presentations with a short sentence which is to life is the greatest victory, salute to the noble soul. And then here is my uh, behind the scene video. Okay, that's all for my presentations. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in below. Then I will we will reply after that. So now I pass my speech to the next person. Thank you. Hi, I'm Winnie, my avant-garde for the 2021 collection is named Art of Justice. To begin with, I would first like to share a brief introduction of my inspired artist, Artemisia Gentasi. Artemisia Gentasi is a 16th Russianist painter. She was born in an artist family and grew up become one of the most acclaimed artists of the late Russianist and Bakura periods. Her life was not an easy one, however, yet has been amazing enough. She was read by one of her father's contemporaries, who is also an artist when she was 17, which is the blossoming stage of a girl. After seven months of shameful interrogation, she suffered mental and physical torture to prove what she said was true. They give gentle C wear a finger clamp in court. This torture tool is made out of metal and rock. It clamps her finger tightly to test her testimony. As the knot tightened, she repeated it's true, true, true to defend herself. Eventually, the court believed her testimony and the rapper was found guilty. However, as the painter was loved by the Pope, he did not actually serve his sentence. Plus, at that time, rape was not a conclusive crime. After the life-changing incident, Artemisia started to create paintings based on the theme of women's revenge. An action we can analyze as she was claiming her own justice through art. This series of paintings depicting violence of men abusing men, which acts like a change of position where women were mostly 
were the weak one when it comes to man frost. This kind of daring art style helped her in getting great recognition from people. Now let's view some of Akimisha Gentasi's artwork. The following site contains images that may be disturbing to some viewers. Akimisha has struggled throughout her life to be taken seriously as a female artist by the public. Her work contains a large number of tough female protagonists. These painted fierce, violent women are often fighting against men, making them hard to ignore as women are on the adventurous side. Her painting reflects her life, the difficulties the artist herself has endured and overcome as a woman. With the absence of justice at that time, my inspiration would be from the Ladies' Justice, a bifolded woman who is holding a skull and a sword. My collection concept will based on adopting Artemisia Gentastis' dramatic painting style and caricatures, which is a painting technique that builds strong contrast between light and dark. Pairing up with the strong symbol of skill and soul. The message of calling out for justice penetrate the whole collection. As above mentioned, Artemisia was being raped at an age of 17, which is every girl's blossom stage. However, at an age of 17, she also had overcome so much stress, attention, and shameful gossip from the public, yet she was still standing firm for her own right. Therefore, adding white rose as a ritual element can emphasize her purity, innocence, and youthfulness. Well, by viewing artificial artwork, we can imagine that she was actually putting on an invisible armor on herself in her own way. So, a uh, fabric manipulation of an elmer looking pattern can express her toughness. Before selecting the final five look for my collection, here's a quick review of some sketches I've done. The silhouette range from a tight and long pencil skirt figure to exaggerated sleeves and voluminous slow. This evening or uh, wedding dresses are designed to show the softness and fortitude of every woman. Just like Artemisia, using her whole life, proving herself in every aspect as a woman, marrying herself to her own right. To achieve the characteristic effect, strong contrast between light and dark, reflecting fabric such as Dutchess satin will be chosen as the main fabric. Remember the finger clamp Artemisia was being put in? I, it was made out of metal to prove her sentence. In respect to the story, these customized metal chips are being engraved in the pattern of scale and sword to emphasize the sense of justice. Not only is it highly reflective, plus it also serves as an Elmo look. To compromise the texture, a fabric manip manipulation of an elmer looking pattern will be added. Moreover, a 3D white rose fabric is used to bring out the soft look from the garment, making a construct statement which with the tough elmer looking and to further emphasize the common by characteristic of a woman. Delicate yet starch. When it comes to making out the garment, the first problem I face is this huge flare around the whole dress. My first attempt looked like this, this, and this. After the uh, the advice from the lecture, the flare started to look better, and eventually, I acquired the perfect shape with the help of interfacing and boning. In this site, I'm going to share my journey in making the fabric manipulation I keep mentioning. 
to start with, I have pre-drawn some boxes at the wrong side of the fabric for guiding. Then you have to stitch around the triangle, tighten the trick and tie the knot to secure it. Like so. Cut off the asset track. Now when you flip back to the right side of the fabric, you can see the pattern start to form out as you stitch. Once you get the concept, all you left to do is stitch endlessly. I always stitch it while enjoying movies. This one and a half meter of fabric took me nearly two weeks to finish. Since it's very time consuming, at some part of the journey, I have to consider giving up this to not delay my progress and be able to hand in the actual garment on time. Luckily, I managed to finish it and so that's good. Here comes the most tricky part of the process, making a wearable metal fabric. I attach the customized engraved metal chips by this small silver ring with the help of jewelry tools and after arranging them onto the mannequin. Then I hand sew them onto my garment with this invisible nylon thread, as the normal thread will be cut off easily by these metal chips. The way of attaching the metal chips also requires experience and technique since I aim to make them fitted to human body curve as close as possible. This is quite a challenge since metal is not like fabric, it is not soft and skin friendly. With the leftover metal chips, I came up with this unique style of mask. The base is a two layer mask made up of leftover touches satin and lining. The third layer is a piece of 3D rose fabric. The fabric itself has a has this kind of see-through effect which adds a sense of mystery. Then I would what pierce onto the mask as an attachment. This face mask is designed to have no uh, to have zero fastening. The wearer can wear this mask easily as the same way we wear a helmet. Back to the topic. Although I'm telling the story of Artemisia Gentis, who is living in the 16th century, her story still has a profound meaning and is highly related even today. The trial that Artemisia experienced did have a decisive impact on her life. She turned this experience into her own advantage. Like she is saying, yes, I have such a reputation, but I want to put it and show it in my work. She not only faced her work, but also made use of it to her own advantage and live out a more meaningful life. I think her artwork is kind of poetic justice, which shows that she is digesting her scars and I strive to put the same idea into my collection. Her life is a testimony that empowers people to break the silence and fight against sexual abuse as Artemisia had visibly demonstrated how she survived sexual assault and harassment. Artemisia shows us that the idea of voice as justice can be extended to visual art practice when victim survivors of sexual violence engage with visual art on sexual violence, they are saying and expressing something. As such, through her artwork, the painting is not just an art, but also a sense of justice. As my collection named Art of Justice, the aim is to raise awareness of the topic of sexual abuse. 
urge to encourage the victim of sexual abuse to revenge in their own legal way, face their wood, and live out a meaningful life. Last but not least, I'm glad that I break my limit and step out of my comfort zone to do something that I have never accomplished before. Those difficult construction parts of my dress turned out well and it's looking as the same as I expected. However, I have to confront that I have made mistakes too. Here is a photo I took before hand sewing the metal chips onto the garment. At that time, I was so satisfied by the way the flare around the shoulder area came out. The angle of the flare should be looking like this at a 45 degree angle. Yet during the photo shooting, I did not wear the dress properly due to the nervousness I got as it was my first professional photo shooting experience. I was so focusing on what poses should I post and wondering do the poses came out nice or not. It makes me kind of sad as the photo I paid for does not show the best of my government. I think that's why it's better to let the professionals to do their own things like I should have asked a model to help me wear it while I monitoring during the photo shooting session to make sure the government turns out great. Nevertheless, it's a good experience as I get to do something I've never done before, including the construction of the dress and the process of bringing out what I want to express in a government form. So that's end of my sharing. Next, I will be passing the role to my friend Jace. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jace, and I'm a student from Bachelor of Fashion Design. And today, I'm going to present my project workshop avant-garde final project, and I will start with sharing my inspiration of the collection. And for this collection, my inspiration was come from an often called melancholia. Melancholia is a disease that makes people lack of joy, feel stress and depression. And in Chinese, it's called yu yu zheng. And so for this collection, it's mainly inspired from a mood and feelings of a patient with depression. And now I want to tell about the story of this art film. And in the beginning of this art film, the main character, Justin, is having a wedding ceremony, gathering, and the mood and vibe of the scene is very harmonious. After the wedding ceremony, the main characters in the movie start to facing chaos and at the end of the art film, the earth was destroyed by a planet called Melancholia. And you, as you can see, this blue, blue color, and this is the plan, Melancholia planet. And in this art film, the director used the end of the world to bring out the feeling of a depressed patient, but not focus on the environment like natural disaster, like earthquake and tsunami. He focused on the expression of the main characteristics. And in this movie is showing that how the depressions go through the chaos. Different people have different response and there are three types of characteristics shown in the movie and there's Justin, Claire and John. First, Justin faced the chaos. She's very calm and she's always be ready to face the depression and she's very tired to solve the problem that she made, like she's never mind and just let the problem go worse and worse. And second, for Claire in the movie, Claire is the one is very nervous when she met the chaos and she was very frustrated and trying to get the solution and answers of the problem. And for the last one, John, he is the one to decide to accept the truth and he is trying to escape from the mistake he made. In this movie, he commits suicide at the end because he cannot accept the truth that the world will be destroyed by a melancholic planet. 
And after my development, I have created a mood board for my collection. And the theme of my collection is Realm in Fear and means that the person is helpless when facing the chaos. In this movie, what I like is the slow motion montage. And this slow motion montage is to explain that the time, slide, time flies when we are in a good mood. But when a person is sad, the time will slow down because people will more focus on the depression feeling when they are sad. And besides that, I found an interesting tool, this warrior tool that the main character using. It is a spiral shaped warrior that attached on a wood stick. And this tool is to measure the distance between the melancholia planet and the earth. And this is the melancholia planet, the white color sphere and so according to the slow motion element used in the movie the collection will having a slow motion design like a flowing design and the wiring tool that used in the art film will also apply in the collection and for the color palette will be contains one white the one milk white mixed with the holographic colors to represent the reflection of the water and one one was inspired from the Justin's wedding gown that she wore in the wedding ceremony. And for the holographic colors, why I choose water as one of my elements, the reason is people are like water. If we are giving 0% care to others, people will feel isolated by others. But if we giving the 100% care to others, which means avoid water, the people will feel our care and feel warm and maybe we can help their wooden heart and so and now I want to show you some of my sketches other than doing the sketches I also doing samples to see the results furthermore I have designed a mask to match with my outfit and this is sample I did the sequence embroidery and this is my sketch of my mask and the design of the mask is have we are having a sequence embroidery here under the eye area and this is to represent the tears and after lecturers guiding we have chosen five outfits for this collection and this third collect this third outfit will be made out the silhouette of the collection will be more brighter wedding gown like bright matte and also the groom full former and there is two reasons for the collection is using the wedding gown and full formal silhouette is first I design according to the main character but it wear in her wedding ceremony and second reason is although we have a beautiful appearance but we are unable to know the pain in others just by looking at the outside one of the, so one of the gown I make it like a vest shape and this is the back side of the outfit and this is the another two outfit and after that I I have did a spec drawing of the outfit and this is my spec drawing of the outfit I will make up and now I will more understand the structure of the outfit and know that what fabric materials should I use and the outfit is contained well stiff and a gown and the sleeve is separate from the gown is to allow the arm can move up and down freely. And furthermore, I have created a fabric bra to know that what fabric and materials I will use in this collection. And the fabric I that I use in this outfit is Duchess Satin, Organza Ruffle, and Holographic Organza. And the materials that I use in this outfit are hand sewn sequins, artificial flowers, and metal wire. And now I would like to show my make, way of making of this outfit my progress. And I have done a lot of sample of the hoop skirt to create a curvy look of a vest shape. And I've done my stiff sample so I can know how it looks like in the final result. And I make the stiff by using wire. And after I success to make up a twine, and I start doing the actual outfit. And this is my twine. And here is my sequence embroidery on the actual fabric. 
and as the area I live in have no photo shoot studio, so I managed to have a fashion photo shoot with my friends. And now I want to share my outfit photo shoot with you guys. And this is my final outcome of my outfit. The bridal gown with the best silhouette. The puffy sleeve with the flowing design uh, is to represent the slow motion montage in the movie. And as you can see, there is some white flowers embroidery on the sleeve and well. And this reason is to imitate the model is lying down in the river that full of white flowers in the slow motion montage. And this is the details. And this details it is, is the details of my sequence embroidery and the sleeve. The reason of model is having a red smoky eye makeup is to show the upset and sadness feeling. And next, this is the design of my mask. The person is able to use the ribbon star with their hair. And this is the front view of my mask. This is the back view and side view. And now I would like to share my behind the scene of the photo shoot. And these photos are taken during we get ready. And my friends and my sister helping me to make up, fitting, set up background and taking photos. And at last I want to show a short video of my outfit photo shoot. And I want to end my presentation with conclusion. In conclusion, I have designed this collection that I have. In this collection, I have thought of our current situation, the COVID-19 pandemic. The depression has been generalized in the pandemic. And after I researched during COVID-19 pandemic, a new study found that the depression symptoms are three times higher during the lockdown. And furthermore, COVID-19 pandemic is a traumatic event that a much larger scale and it can cause people emotional and physical distress and not just for patients of the virus. And during the lockdown, everyone need to wear the face mask, wash hands, stay one meter apart from everyone, including loved ones. And that is how quarantine and pandemic has chipped away people's mental health. And the rates of the depression increase when people socially isolated have less structure of the routine and more blurry vision of the future. And no one will know when the pandemic will end. And it is understandable why depression symptoms are on the rise. And so we need to care around people around us and is to prevent a mental health problem. And then that's all for my presentation. Thank you for lending your ears. And now I will pass it to the next presenter, Nicole. Hi, good afternoon for all viewers and my beloved. And I'm Nicole and I'm a fashion designer. Today I'm going to present about my final project, which which is Amangat, Autumn Winter 2021, Eyes of Guilty. And next, let us talk about my inspiration, which is inspired by The Big Eyes. The Big Eyes is a 2014 America by Joker Cole, comedy drama art film, directed by Tim Burton, written by Scott Alexander, and Larry Krasinski and starring Amy Adams and Christoph Waltz. The film is about the life of American artist Margaret Kane, famous for painting and drawing portraits of people with big eyes. It follows the story of Margaret and her husband, 
Walter Kahn, who took credit for Margaret's glory and popular paintings in the 1915th century and 1960th century. It follows the lawsuit and trial between Margaret and Walter. After Margaret revolt, she is the true artist behind the painting. The film was made with the positive review and it is based on true story. The Big Eyes focuses on what we see, what we want or are allowed to see, what we decided to show to others, how we conceal ourselves. We do not have power to assume that we are real people or because of society just complicate us doing this. The talented artist Margaret, she portrays huge and expressive disproportionate eyes make her a special trademark staring at us with big eyes are we looking at the characteristic in the painting or are they looking at us in that those things that we often cannot see directly those hidden things are the most important the experience of the french french novelist novelist her husband ghostwriter sidoni Cabri Collet. For more example, like J.K. Rowling signed her book with her initial so that the audience think the uh, J.K. Rowling is the male writer. So this feeling makes people like Margaret can't even have no language or even understand how she wrote by men and how much she released on her own health. So next, in the big eyes that I knew, Margaret do not know about the woman's power, how to protect her abilities and self-confidence. As a woman in the society and marriage, so my thought is to show out the woman's power through the garment to give woman confidence. As an example, has me when I'm wearing a high heels, it gives me a lot of confidence and powerful. So this thought I would like to apply on the garment. At the 50 years ago in society, nobody gave a woman a voice to spoke up how we protect ourselves from society by legal, no matter female or male in other side. Walter Kane, Margaret, husband, who lost his consciousness and stealing glory and painting the big eyes from Margaret. The painting staring at he with big eyes looking at the characteristic in the painting or they looking at us. The big eyes will keep looking for the bad characteristic. And next, come to my mood board, the element who can go through the mood board, which are the eyes and tarot cards show the judgment, tells, tells people to be conscientious or let the karma or legal to judge you. Well, not sleep at the night and the tarot is a mystery and representative about talking to your own soul. Behind, you can see the Medusa and girl alone to show it. Girl can be everything you can do, even though you are alone, just be encouraged and infinity charm has Medusa. And the background with the line drawing come from the draft of the painter. Furthermore, we move to the color plate. The color I'm choosing is about the pastel series color because inside the art film, the shooting technique of the color tone is in pastel color. And the, a bit of blue feeling inside the highlight part, well color applied on the collection to combine people, the justice and the brightness will come in the end as Margaret in end is happy ending story. And next come to the fabrication that I use are the top three fabrication, which are cotton polyester tweeted fabric, 
line pattern glittering netting and polyester flounces. These three fabrication are the fabric that I make in for my actual pieces. For the bottom other two fabrication which are apply other piece for the collection. The fabrication that I choose all is linked to the art such as cotton polyester tweed fabric represent the painting painter uh, painting and, and the pattern netting fabric about the lines or draft before painting and the flounces and satin they can make a good result of flare effect and next move to my idea development my idea development actually is come from the brainstorming all about the eyes how people and me think about the big eye story and that link me to think more and come out a lot of concept to let me apply to my collection. Next, we move on to my sketching part. You can able to view it, the eyes is my main element. For the collection, some of the eyes is like come over the bodies to make it more 3D forms and the second element which is the flounces to gain the confidence from the puffiness and the flannels look. In the animals world, they always like uh, make their body seem big and huge uh, by scare up the enemy so they like to uh, to scare off the enemy about to protect themselves. And next, we move on to the range plan, which is the front view of my collection. You guys can guess which is the one that I made it out for my final garment. The element also apply on the collection too. After the brainstorming, I get a lot of ideas from the brainstorming. And the silhouette, some you can see some part is puffiness look, some part with using the flounces to give an effect of puffin puffiness or flare looks. The one I make it out was the last one. You guys get it right or not? This is the back and this is the back view of my collection. The element also apply on the collection too. And to thanks for the brainstorming. Next, uh, come in the experiment. Because of the experiment that led me to the successful, before the success, there were a lot of filler for my collection. First, I'm using the thick coat string with the metal wire and paint it with fabric paint and waving thread string with thin mill wire has the top image come out the result is too roughness but the come for the image too the result is uh, roughness is gone when I do the use the boning and tin wire wrap with the embroidery thread, then the result feel good but it's not enough thick. And the colorful eyeballs also is difficult to wrap around the tin wire when it's circle. Then another method is double the boning, make it thick and wrap with the embroidery thread and the bottom eyes can transfer it with the garment then you can see the eye shape hole and embroidery thread around the hole and also i embroidery hand embroidery at the middle of the eye hole this is the final good result that i find it out for the top tube uh, actually early on just a simple tube on a cut line after the improvement and I get more detailing for it which are the stitching kitted and cut line applied later I will show you the shooting and next come from my mask design with top and bottom the flounces applied 
or sandwiches into the eye cut line. Eye cut line removable eyeball fastening embroidery around the eye shape cut line. There are the elements applied on the mask. Also, the pleated method of the stripe uh, come from the actual garment tube part to show the stronger the line apply. Instead, so with simple nothing detail has a piece of line pattern glittery matting. And next, let me show you behind the scene. And this is my makeup period. And then this is my shooting period. And then this is my behind the scene and next we move on to the shooting part first i think about the feeling is the most important part to let viewer or the audience to know about my collection i'm using makeup pose and other material to bring out something mystery secret and bold feeling also i was applying with a very clear contrast face makeup to show the confidence and color with purple wine red to have a nice combination with the garment and this is the another pose the shooting method which is playing with the shadow to bring out the sh and show out the people is fighting with their dark side and in conclusion hope the world being peaceful and full of energy no matter what is going wrong just remember only fight for the truth by using self-confidence to let yourself sleep well at the night and having a good sweet dream Thanks for letting me your ears and think again for this semester. So next, I pass the speaker to Jasmine. So hi, everyone. After listening to all the artwork from our designer, hope you all enjoy it and also hope you all learn something from them. And before ending, if you have any questions, may leave your comments down and we will reply on your comments later. And thank you so much for staying with us for this hour and see you again in future. Bye-bye.